Cheyenne Covington on Facebook wants to know, do you ever walk down the street and just feel like eye candy? Every day of my life. It's Max Major, and this is episode 59 of the vlog. In a great mood, it's Monday. Love Mondays. You are watching this on a Tuesday, so I hope your week is off to a good start. I've had a lot of great questions come in, and so it's time for another episode of Major Questions. First question comes in from Facebook. Ruth Alyssa Munoz wants to know, Hey Max, what magician did you idolize growing up? I would say one of the first magicians I ever saw on television was David Copperfield. When I was 15 years old, I went to Las Vegas and I then saw Lance Burton's show at the Monte Carlo. So I would have to say between the two of them, probably my biggest inspirations as a kid. Bill McDuff on Facebook asks, Hey Max, just wondering if you will return to Glens Falls again next year. I had an amazing time at the Adirondack Theater Festival. Bill, I would love to come back to Glens Falls make it happen. Camden Cruz on Twitter wants to know, hashtag major questions, did you enjoy the Harry Potter books and movies? I am a huge Harry Potter fan, in fact I actually went to Harry Potter World at Universal Studios for the very first time this year. I had a show down in Orlando and spent a day over at Universal and I was blown away. You go into Diagon Alley and you feel like you were literally transported into the movie. So huge fan of Harry Potter, huge fan of Harry Potter experience at Universal Studios. Jeff on Facebook wants to know, what type of promotional material do you need to have when you're trying to get bookings for a show? For example, website, social media, etc. What are the necessities to have if you aspire to be a full-time performer? Jeff, I think this is a great question. I think the very first thing you need is a business card. When you're out and about and you tell people what it is that you do, I think you should be able to hand them some info. The next thing you need is a website to support what it is that you do, to have client references, videos, sort of a home base for people to come and book you. The very next most important thing you can possibly do is to set up a mailing list. Check out MailChimp or Constant Contact. After that, I would say the things that become uh, important but aren't as important are high quality promotional photos and a high quality performance reel or video, but really you can get by without either of those things. You can have a friend snap some pictures at a performance. It's probably enough to get going. Really, it's that email list, your presence on social media, and word of mouth, real world networking, which is gonna carry your business to the next level. Jeff, stay with it, and I hope that you can become the full-time performer you want to be. Matt Cotter on Twitter asks, I'm 38, I work 5,000 hours a week, can I be your assistant or something? Hashtag major questions. If you're putting in 5,000 hours a week, that is magic, you gotta come work for me. In fact, I actually am hiring, so Matt Cotter, hit me up. Next question, coming in from Instagram, Codester2013, he says, how much of a difference does it make up when you wake up with a positive attitude every morning? Hashtag major questions. Cody, it makes all the difference in the world. The truth is, attitude is everything. Before you can master the external world, you've got to master your internal world. Each day represents a fresh start, a new beginning, full of possibilities. Farzam on Facebook asks, my question for you is have you heard of magic sex? Is there any other kind? Next question comes from Iron Pirate Val on Twitter. You gotta check this guy out, he is an incredible Johnny Depp slash Jack Sparrow impersonator. Ridiculous looking. Val wants to know, hey Max, how do you handle a know-it-all heckler? Hashtag, major questions. It really depends on your personality. I've seen stand-up comics who are great at combating hecklers with sort of aggressive insults. That is just not my style. So I say you ignore them or actually involve them in the show. Make them a part of the show if they want to be so badly. Dakota wants to know, what do you enjoy most about what you do and what drives you to keep moving forward on a path of success? Hashtag Major Nation. Dakota, what drives me is that I'm living my passion. And so I think when your job and your passion are completely aligned, you never have to search for drive or for motivation. In fact, doing what it is that you love makes it never feel like work. The thing that sort of frames my decisions and my motivation is a constant quest for growth. I wanna be a better performer, a better businessman, and a better human being. So hopefully that answers your question. Keith M. Carey on Facebook wants to know, since a lot of famous magicians have played Vegas, if you could select which venue on the Vegas trip to perform, which would it be and why? Keith, I absolutely love going to Vegas. I've wanted to perform in Vegas for the longest time. I really only perform there for private and corporate events. If I had my own show on the strip, 
hands down the property I would choose is the Cosmopolitan. I have so much fun hanging out there and I think the brand is a great fit with mine. So Cosmo, if you're watching, call me. Rob Engels wants to know, do you ever realize in the middle of a trick that it's not going to work on the individual or something has gone wrong in front of a full crowd? How do you keep your head and recover and adjust and or salvage it? Keep up the amazing work. Uh, Rob, thanks for the question. Of course, mistakes happen every day on stage. The advantage of being a performer is that you are the only one that knows exactly where your show is going to go next. You know, the very nature of what it is that I do uh, requires me to take a large number of risks or guesses live on stage, and so oftentimes they don't actually work out the way that I plan. But that's the nature of live performance, and that's actually what makes it kind of exciting. That's all the questions. Had a couple questions come in last week that I didn't have time to get to. Keep in mind, you can ask me questions anytime, not when I just put a request out for questions. You can just send something with hashtag major questions. I'll get to it each time I record one of these. So bring them on. I have a big request to make. What I'd like you to do is to go into my YouTube page or my Facebook page and choose your favorite episode of the vlog from all time and to share this with your friends and family. Post it up on your Twitter account or your Facebook page and let people know what you like about this vlog. It would be a huge help in me building my audience. would really appreciate it, guys. See you next time.